All right, welcome to the Big Island Art Fair. Today we are here with Nina Smith. So, tell us something about your work. Whoa, it's a fetish, actually. Uh, uh, the glass giving it, it's all recycled glass. Mm -hmm. And when you string it all together like this, it makes beautiful sounds. So sure. to me, it's like giving it a song. Oh, so know? it's like also like a wind chime. Then. Very much so. Okay, yeah. nice. Okay. So tell us about your your process. How do you how does all this come together? Wow. Well, I have to collect the bottles, and that's pretty specific. You can't have painted bottles. And then I bang them up or cut them depending on what uh -huh. I'm working on. And then to get this nice, soft, beachy glass look, you've got to tumble it for about a day and a half. Mm, okay. Okay, so this is a way of recycling. Mm -hmm. Have you ever joined the uh, Recycled Art Show in Hilo? No, no. That's something you should get into. Yeah. I think you'd fit right in. Uh, do you know Ira Ono? Yes. Yeah, so he's usually the one promoting that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. do a fantastic job. Yeah, I think, you'd fit, I think you'd fit right in with this. Yeah. Very much. You should really consider doing that. So, uh, do you use a kiln? Uh, no, actually, this is resin. Resin? Yeah, it's glass. Oh, so it's, it's it's a cool process all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen somebody... I put the, the doodads on it, and then I pour the resin, and then add the shells. Okay. And then I pull the tape off before it's dry so it falls over and makes this real nice watery look. Okay. And that's something I want in it is these drips because it makes it so much more sparkly. Okay. And all the sand and shells are from North Shore Wahoo, right. except for the abalone, which came from a dear friend of mine. He gave me a bunch of it, which I'm coming to the end of, sadly enough. Mm. But yeah, it's just good fun. I work on our front lanai in, in Orchid Land, and it's just, oh. I'll call oh, it. Oh, Orchid Land. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. So you're on that side. You're not far from the East White Cultural Center and all right, that. Yeah. Right, right. I was just in the Wailoa Mosaic Show a few months ago, okay. and my piece took second place out of a hundred. I was shocked, but it was great fun. Great learning, and this is this has been really exciting. All these people, there's so much fun, and yeah. being around people that are of the same mind, you know, that that's how you spend your time is it's yeah letting it, it flow it's there's really something special. about the collective consciousness when it comes to getting inspiration yeah yeah so is there any particular set or piece you want to talk about probably the jellyfish i don't see anything like them out there okay. i've been doing these for about seven or eight years now okay this one is made for though it was a bowl originally and it's really thick so I have a diamond drill bit that I drill a hole in it. I've only broke two over the eight years I've been doing this. But um, each glass you use makes a different sound. And it's really fun to, to find out what's gonna make a nice combination of sounds. And some of them I tumble to a real soft, beachy look. And some of them I leave holes so that it's really reflective and shiny. And they make a different sound if they've been tumbled as compared to not tumbled. I like this one, it looks like a real liquidy like that. I like that. And I can also put lights in them, which is really fantastic at night. Well, that's really cool stuff. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, it was a pleasure. Thank sure. you.